Tonight's face off in PA comes after a heated debate last night in Florida's race for governor. The incumbent, the Republican governor Ron DeSantis, widely considered to be leading presidential contender for the GOP if he decides to run for president in 24. Well, his Democrat opponent, Charlie Crist, asked DeSantis point blank last night, are you running for the White House? You're running for governor. Why don't you look in the eyes of the people of the state of Florida and say to them, if you're reelected, you will serve a full four year term as governor. Yes or no? <laughs> yes or no, Ron? Will you serve a full four year term if you're reelected governor of Florida? It's Isn't not a tough time? question. It's a fair question. He won't tell you. We did not agree on the candidates asking each other my questions. Time? Governor, it's your turn. Well, listen, I know that Charlie's interested in talking about 2024 and Joe Biden, but I just want to make things very, very clear. The only worn out old donkey I'm looking to put out to pasture is Charlie Chris. Hell a line, but not an answer. Governor DeSantis did not com commit to serving out the full term if he wins. The real clear polit average of politics suggests that he likely will. DeSantis leads by 10 points. Larry Sabato is here, director of the University of Virginia Center for Politics. Larry, the needle move at all last night, or is this race in Florida essentially over? I think it's been over for quite some time, yeah. uh, both the governor's race and Senate race there. Look, Florida has been drifting, drifting, drifting back into the Republican camp ever since 2016, and uh, very substantially so, I'd say, over the last couple of years. Hey, Larry, the Democrats rolling out their Obama now. The former president said to campaign in Nevada, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin. Is the Democrats' best weapon their previous guy? Well, I think he may well be more popular than the incumbent Democratic president, but we need to remember something. With all due respect to President Obama, uh, he wasn't able to swing votes for Democratic candidates in his first midterm of 2010 or his second midterm of 2014. And that's while he was president, Jeff. How's he supposed to do it now? Yeah, it's a good uh, these question. These appearances uh, disappear very quickly. They're, they're really not very significant. You know, most of the polling shows that control of the Senate is still a toss up. Is that just Democrat dreaming? I mean, outside of Pennsylvania, where do you see places where Republicans could, you know, lose their edge? <laughs> well, there there aren't many. Uh, obviously, uh, Democrats are hoping that one of the Democratic candidates in the Wisconsin Senate race, the Ohio Senate race, or the North Carolina Senate race pulls an upset. Uh, frankly, I don't see it in any of those cases. It may be the, the closest in Ohio, but uh, all three Republican nominees have a, have a good chance to be the winner. So either the Democrats win Pennsylvania and uh, they have to worry about Georgia and Nevada, too. Nevada could easily go to the Republicans, and then they're really in duck soup. And it's not impossible at all that Republicans will win uh, the Georgia seat in a runoff. I think that we will have a runoff, and it will come up in early December. This is not my lane, as they say, but you don't have to be a political genius at all to know that when the Democratic president of the United States is campaigning 14 days before the election, in the state of New York, there's trouble in donkey land. Uh, absolutely. Uh, that's one clear sign. There are lots of others. The contentious races are generally in Democratic strongholds in the House, and that's a very bad sign for Democrats holding on to the House. Anything they can do at all? Well, you know, there are late October surprises. We've had them from time to time. In fact, we're 60 years almost to the day since the Cuban Missile Crisis, which actually elevated the Democrats, they had a wash in the election that was that was unexpected. Democrats were thought to be on the edge of losing House seats, some Senate seats, and some governorships, and they ended up with a wash because John F. Kennedy and the Democrats were viewed as victors from the face-off with the Soviet Union and Nikita Khrushchev. Mm. So you never know. Yeah, you never know. Larry Sabato, thank you.